equestrian therapy program. And go ahead, Michelle, I'm gonna leave it up to you now. Hi, thank you for your time today. Yeah. Uh, I'm here today to share with you that we are having our uh, two annual fundraisers, our Kentucky Derby Festival and our Ride-a-thon all combined as one and it's going to be a virtual event. So we are excited. It will be held this Saturday, September 5th, and it's starting about three o'clock in the afternoon. We have many great auction items up um, on the site. You can either go to our website, etpfarm.org, or go to handbid.events.com and do a search for equestrian therapy program. And we've got a lot of great items. We have a lot of Ohio State. Um, things. We've got two signed footballs, one by Ryan Day and another one by Urban Meyer, along with a signed Hop Along Cassidy print. Uh, we have a great trip um, to Nashville. Uh, we have a really neat trip to Lexington, Kentucky with a two-night stay at a Marriott and then a one-night stay at the Glen Laurie Estate, which will uh, sleep like 16 people and you've got the whole estate to yourself. It sounds like a really amazing package there. We have many uh, taste of lima baskets and food items and lots of bourbon baskets. So we have a lot of great things coming up that day, but we really appreciate your help and your support. If you could just go to handbid.events.com and, and do a search. We've got a lot of fun activities that day. There's some great video coming up and uh, we've got some horses to watch race. I mean, the Kentucky Derby is a, you know, most famous two minutes in the world of sports. So. We really need your support and your help and can't thank enough to all of you and all of our sponsors for how much you've helped us thus far. So we hope you join us. That's it. Thanks. Thank you, Michelle. That is a wonderful program and everything, all the proceeds go to a great cause. So yes, those who are not familiar with us, we provide therapeutic horseback riding for the disabled. We are also looking, um, we're just now gradually opening up to mental health practices. So reach out if you would want to partner that way in, in any way. Thank you, Michelle. Thank we you. appreciate it for me being here. Uh, next, I would like to introduce Marcel with Umadop, and he's going to talk to us about what events are coming up in his area as well. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, having me uh, on behalf of Lyman Umadop. I just wanted to uh, make the announcement. Um, in all of the years I've been working here at Lima Umadop, we've never been able to host our annual conference. And we were excited and we were building everything and then COVID hit. So it kind of put everything on pause. Um, but we have been able to um, do some things differently. So uh, this year, our 31st annual Umadop statewide conference will be virtual. Um, we have many speakers, um, and it will be held September 16th through September 18th, uh, and then it will all be virtual. Um, if anyone wants to uh, register, you can go to www.limayumadop.com, and uh, you can hit the events tab button, and it will take you to the registration. Thank you, Marcel. For those of you that may not know, could you could you explain a little bit about what Umadop does and and um, how how you work in the community? Yes, um, <clears throat> we are a prevention and treatment agency, so we provide services we provide services for youth and adults. Uh, we also provide services for the Lima City Schools here. Um, with our treatment program, uh, we provide those who are struggling with addiction. Uh, we also have a uh, inpatient program as well to better serve those individuals. Um, and uh, we do it as a as a whole. Uh, we will help the family as well if there's a need. Um, one of the exciting things that I like to mention uh, with our treatment program, we do have um, our Georgia Newsome Home which that serves uh, women with children. It's very difficult to, to find a place for women who have children uh, to be in treatment. So we started that home about four years ago and it's going pretty well. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for being here with us and sharing with us your, your convention. And 
we'll make sure that we put that up on the website, all the events that we're talking about today, we'll be able to add to our newsletter and distribute that out to the community as well. So thank you very much. And now I would like to introduce Michelle Webkin with the Lima Family YMCA. Thank you, good morning everyone. Um, just a couple great things that we have coming up um, that we're really excited about because uh, we're able to do some programming um, finally. So uh, we do have our normal session coming up starting September 14th, so in two weeks, you can register now. Um, and this is, includes all of our group exercise classes, all of our, um, our karate, or a lot of our youth programs that we run all year round, like karate, swim lessons, gymnastics, um, and then, um, like I said, our group exercise classes. So um, it's, it's really great. We are practicing our, we're set up for social distancing, sanitizing, just making sure we're staying safe and able to offer all of those for everybody. Um, a couple other events that we have coming up, um, since pickleball is a sport that there is not um, very much contact, uh, we are able to, and it seems pretty, pretty popular, at least here, um, we're having a pickleball tournament coming up in October. So October 17th, um, it is a Saturday, we'll probably start first thing in the morning. Uh, we have several different, you can sign up by age group or by skill level. Um, and we'll run the tournament all day. It should be a really fun event. Um, it's a fun sport to play. Uh, and like I said, it's pretty popular here and we hope that um, it's something we can stay safe in doing. So hopefully we get a lot of participants for that. Um, another thing that we have coming up in October, um, since we our QP race series that we run every year, we weren't able to do this year um, because of circumstances. Uh, we are able, we're going to do a 5K here on um, the end of October, October 24th, and we're going to do a pumpkin run, so kind of a fun event. whole family is invited, and um, you got to carry a pumpkin for a 5K, so um, just like I said, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be October 24th. Um, registration will start at 8.30. They'll start running at 9.30. Um, it will be here at the Y. We're going to start here at the Y and just do the river path. So it'll be a nice path, not crossing any streets or anything like that. Um, so uh, a great event. And I believe that is all I have coming up. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, our mom to mom schedule, we did uh, mention it before, but we had to change the date. So it is actually September 19th. Um, so about a couple weeks from now. Uh, it was the 12th originally, and then we rescheduled till September 19th. Um, again, we'll probably have capacity and limiting, and um, it'll be in the gym where we can spread out pretty wide. Um, but September 19th from 8 to noon, uh, we will have our mom to mom sale. That's great news that you're able to get back um, up and running. Now, are, are people able to go to your website or Facebook to find out how to enroll for these events and and so yes, it, everything you can register um, on our website and a lot of them we have a lot of um, information on both Facebook and the website. So um, yeah, and uh, I think you mentioned something about sending out. Do you want me to send you some info? Uh, yes, for please. Your website. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Well, thank you very much, Michelle. No, nope. thank you, Nicole. You guys are able to get back up and moving. Um, Next, I would like to introduce Mr. Bob Day with the Kiwanis. He's going to be talking about some uh, events that are coming up with uh, our, our community social club, Kiwanis. Thank you. Uh, I'm here to talk about our 5K, which will take place on October 31st at uh, Woodlawn Cemetery, Halloween-based, nice place to have a Halloween-based uh, uh, event in a cemetery. The, the race will benefit our uh, awesome relationship with the Lima City School System where we sponsor uh, student clubs at the Lima Senior, uh, North, South, West, and Liberty, and Independence, Heritage, uh, Unity, and Freedom. Uh, uh, they're called our Service Leadership Program, and we have about 275 members of those particular clubs. Uh, the race will be an, a live race, at least right now, but we'll be complying with all the health department rules. 
And so it may convert entirely to virtual and in reviewing what's going on at 5Ks around the region and even around the country, many are virtual. So if we do that, uh, it'll be uh, uh, publicized, et cetera. However, you also can do a virtual option that I'm going to do uh, anyway, if you don't, don't feel comfortable, but we will be complying with all the health department rules. Uh, we will also be offering at the same event a pet contest, and this will be completely virtual on Facebook, and you can register your pet, either a cutest pet or a pet in costume. And uh, again, uh, there'll be prizes for both. And, and back to the uh, 5K for a minute, uh, there will be race shirts for all the first 250, all entries by October 1, and the first 250 entries will get a finisher medallion. Uh, to find out more details, uh, I won't give you the WW stuff because I really don't understand it, but I just go would Google either Kiwanis or Lyme, Ohio Facebook site and look on events and it'll be there, or Google Can't Stop Running Company, that's Can't Stop Running Company, who's our race manager, and you can register for the race. There's various... Uh, cost to register for the race. Uh, today is the final day for the early uh, early race registration, I think it's $20, and then it'll bump to $25 after that. So again, this is our second annual one. Last year was very successful and we hope to build on that. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you for being here with us today, Mr. Day. And now we would like to hear from Amy Ricker with the Safety Council. She has some amazing announcements for us today. So go ahead, Amy. Good morning. Um, the West Central Ohio Safety Council has a few announcements we'd like to make. First, we wish to announce the Ruth Crayer Safety Person of the Year in efforts to recognize our safety heroes, those who show commitment and excel in promoting, practicing, and enhancing safety in the workplace. The Ruth Crayer Safety Person of the Year Award was created. Um, Ruth Crayer was a safety council manager well over 20 years ago. She was a true advocate for the Safety Council and over the years worked diligently to help make what um, our council what it is today. And she's you know, recognized for her commitment and all the hard work she gave to our council. Um, sadly, Ruth Crayer passed away last week. Um, we'll be greatly missed by everyone. Um, she truly was a remarkable woman who made a real difference in our community. Um, in her honor, we created this um, council that created the you know, award and this year, we are giving it to Tom Mackey from Fortamina Specialties. Um, Tom instituted a behavioral-based safety program that got everyone at Fortamina Specialties engaged in safety. It's employee-led, and he manages the program and helping each person on the shop floor to understand the importance of safety. Uh, he focuses on safety observations to make truly effective and hold monthly meetings um, where the re results are viewed and barriers are discussed. Um, everyone's very involved and has tremendously helped their safety record. Tom was able to push the site um, to voluntarily complete over 1,000 safety observations. 478 of those were deemed at-risk status, and almost 60% were resolved immediately. The others were addressed in a timely fashion, and out of the site, they employ 70 people, and it's a, a great commitment to safety. Um, we congratulate Tom and he's available for questions at Fort Amanda Specialties. Um, next, the, our um, West Central Ohio Safety Council Community Safety Grant fulfills one of our missions to improve the safety, not just in the workplace, but in our community as well. So recipients of the grant in the past have been Perry Township Fire Department, Bluffton Fire Department, and Allen County Office of Homeland Security. Uh, in its fourth year, there are great applicants uh, for this grant. However, one stood out above the rest and our committee felt that would have the largest impact on our community and that was the Allen County Fairgrounds. Uh, the $1,000 safety award will allow them to maximize their security by installing uh, safety security cameras. Um, surveillance technology will make uh, the fairground safety safer for all and will allow them to move forward with their project. Their goals are to protect the public, deter crime, and vandalism and uh, surveillance for all the entry points. Uh, we congratulate the Allen County Fairgrounds and they can be reached 419-228-7141. Uh, and lastly, uh, the West Central Ohio Safety Council holds a 50-50 raffle at all of our monthly meetings. Each year we choose a local charity that we wish to support with these proceeds. This year we're pleased to present the donations to You Matter Inc. 
in the amount of $336 to support their outreach program about suicide awareness. Um, this re represents our collection for the portion of our year and we'll continue to so support them when our in-person meetings come back in. So you can, may have seen their You Matter signs all around town and this will go to support those efforts. So you can contact them at Facebook by searching You Matter Brady's Bunch. And that's all I have today. So thank you and everybody have a safe day. Thank you, Amy. A lot of great things that the Safety Council does and we're happy to be a part of that with the Chamber as one of our programs. And congratulations to the award recipients and our condolences to the Career family as well. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And now I'd like to introduce Erica Hawkins. She is the program coordinator for the Chamber. She's gonna talk about some of the things that the Chamber has going on. Thanks, Nicole. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for being here this morning. Um, just wanted to touch on a couple of Chamber events that are coming up. We have our Women in Business quarterly program this Thursday um, that is going to be via Zoom, and that's going to run from 12 to 1 p.m., and our topic for this quarter is going to be diversity and leadership during our during a pandemic. Um, so it's going to be a great, interesting program. Jessica Phillips from Now Marketing is going to MC from us, and we have some great panel lined up for that. So make sure, ladies, to tune in um, on Thursday morning or uh, Thursday afternoon. I apologize. Um, tickets are $10 for members and $15 for non members. Also, coming up in September, we have our Chamber University program. That's going to be on September 24th. Um, and this quarter's topic for Chamber University is going to be employee theft and embezzlement. We will be hearing from Barry Webney from Webney Consulting and um, Lisa Neekamp Irwin from Tomorrow's Technology Today. Um, again, tickets for Chamber University are $10 for members and $15 for future members. Um, you can register by calling us at 419-222-6045 or by going to limachamber.com. And then also we have our Real American Sunrise program on September 25th. Um, and this month, the committee has decided to kind of focus on emergency planning and preparedness. We're also going to focus on some things that are going on, on downtown um, Lima and, and um, things that we can hope to see in the future. So a lot of interesting things coming up for the month of September. Um, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions or if you want to register for any of these events, just go to limachamber.com. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you, Erica. And at Real America Center, as we're we're going to have some really neat programs coming up, even though they we're not face to face. We still have a lot of value to provide to our members and our community. And there are a lot of great things going on in Lima, even though we are in a pandemic there. If you haven't been downtown to see all the construction, then, you know, maybe take a drive down here and, and see what's going on. But last but not least, I would like to uh, talk about Lima's Pitch Fest. We are currently accepting applications with the Walter Potts Entrepreneurial Center and Greater Lima Region is the sponsor of Lima's Pitch Fest. Uh, we are currently taking applications for entrepreneurs. Uh, we have two different contract, con I'm sorry, two different categories and first is for startups. So if you know somebody that um, has has a dream and would like to start their business, uh, we encourage everybody to uh, sign up and submit your business plan. And then we also have the emerging category for anybody that uh, has, is currently a business owner and has been in business for one to three years. And Lima's Pitch Fest will then be accepting applications through September 30th, where they have an opportunity to pitch and receive up to $10,000 in cash and prizes. Uh, the requirement is they need to submit a three to five sentence summary stating why it is that they want to pitch along with the written business plan. If they do not currently have a business plan, they can contact the Small Business Development Center out at Road State College, where they will help walk any entrepreneur in the uh, greater Lima, uh, eight county region, and all those services with that, with the Small Business Development Center are free and they're excited to help entrepreneurs move forward with their dreams and expansions. So you can go to pitchfest at limachamber.com uh, for the submissions. That's the email where those need to go to. If you need more information, you can always visit limachamber.com or give the chamber a call at 419-222-6045. And then we also have another exciting event. We're going to have an interactive and live seminar featuring Chad Hymas. 
And he is a motivational speaker, very inspirational, that um, has dealt with trials and tribulations of his own. And he's going to be talking to us about peak performance during a pandemic. And what he's going to be speaking about is how to battle a positive attitude. Finding joy and adaptation doesn't start when the pandemic's over, it starts now. So um, if you're ready to energize, educate, and engage uh, yourself in your workplace and your team, please join us on October 28th from 1030 to noon with Chad Hymas. You can visit limanchamber.com to get registered. It will be a live Zoom meeting very interactive so we'll be able to um you know conversate together with chad and if you if you haven't heard his story it's it's really amazing back in 2001 chad's life changed when um he's originally from utah and he had a bale a two-ton bale of hay uh, fall on him and crushed his spine and his neck and he is now a quadriplegic and He's just an amazing person. He's very inspirational. He had two young, two young children, and he's going to tell us about his story and how he was able to persevere through that. And he's been named as one of the top 10 motivational speakers in the world by Wall Street. So we're excited to have him here, and we hope that all of you will join us as well. But with that being said, that concludes today's press conference. I'm very thankful and appreciate everybody being here today. Uh, if you haven't sent your press releases or, or event information to Terry already, please do so by emailing tsaloni at limachamber.com. That way we can get this information put into the newsletter and exchanged with all of everybody in the, the media and our community members. Uh, thank you again for being here today and we stay safe and we'll see you soon. Thank you.